what exactly was the function of the pre de rome how did the french system for artists and architects evolve into a world-class institution and become the undisputed standard bearer for the arts who were some of the big winners let's rediscover this journey as we delve into the phenomenal experiment by the french government to nurture and ensure the success of their artists we'll explore the growth and challenges of this prestigious program for the artist in the 19th century there were four ultimate goals or hurdles they faced that would be the winning combination to finally achieve success they are the tour de force of the art world the creme de la creme first and foremost for the talented youth was to apply and be accepted into the Ecole des Beaux-Arts program and face the gauntlet of rules and procedures then after the final throes of finishing the four-year program comes the very prestigious prix de rome or the prize of rome the ability without the stress of financial worries to be awarded room and board at the french academy in italy this would result in doing an important series of works to prove one's worth following that there is the end game of acceptance in the salon itself which the pedigree alone would help after the prize of rome was in one's corner the salon is the third most important part of gaining financial assuredness and the all-important public access and notice the final aspect is that of finding the critic or writer to be attached to the artist's works written about thus acquiring a name that becomes recognized by artistic circles to ensure steady work and honors as the career blossoms add to those hurdles the ever problematic political and social changes that occur usually every 10 to 15 years in society so the goal is to be able to ride the waves of popular current or newer styles and remain true to the artistic aims that are inherent in each artist often if success is assured early enough the security and financial strength overcome the waves of change as they occur however some lose the steady growth of financial stability only to wander for a time with the hope to be recognized much later as a life's works progress and are reappraised so honors again pour in the journey is very real and very hard fought then there are those artists who almost won the coveted prize or in the case of the great sculptor carpo trying some nine times until winning finally in one of those regards the pathway to gaining a reputation to enter the salon without the prix de rome and with what training they possess strike out as very strong individually and whose gifts cannot be denied to subsequently win the hearts of the parisian artistic social network with a tour de force and unnoticed thereby a review becomes the finest option one can secure and override the system to some degree a case in point is bastien lepage coming in as second place for the prix de rome under much controversy and almost causing a riot among the artists who supported his entry or of edouard manet who truly represents the refusals by the salon selection committees so much so that he on his own in defiance held his own salon but with only partial success though ultimately gaining favor so the circumstances one is found to be a part of needs to be of necessity something to analyze and quickly find a general path to victory yet the french system overall represented the best way to aid artists even with all the turmoil and hurdles and at least was a guide to follow other programs were eventually able to help the many artists looking to enter into their dreams of artistic stardom as with the professional ateliers that became a way for already successful painters to allow personal instruction as was the case of academy julian and the atelier of carolus duran and jean dominique ang of a generation earlier to mention a few in our discussion here we will look to unveil just a slice of the artist's life as part of what was and what circumspectly repeats itself over time with that regard alexandre cabanel perhaps was one of the more successful instructors at the ecole and produced the most significant group of prominent names in french painting he became known for having had a stable of stars who established themselves far above the fray it was the job of the instructor once certain applicants were approved and in place to ensure they completed the required courses before moving on 
this usually entailed the training of the eye to see a practice that is once again being used and that depended upon the study of the antique caste which along with the ability to see shapes accurately was an introduction to the ideal in anatomical anatomy and the construction of forms generally from the greek or roman statues or copies the general age to enter the school was between eighteen to nineteen years of age seldom later often the classes formed around students from many different provinces which meant for many the first time seeing the parisian capital classes were often dank and smelled of body odor and cigarettes in the case of some painters the crowded atmosphere was simply too much as in the case of emile Friant, who returned home after a brief time opting to go the belgium's ecole system as a better alternative and more conducive to peaceful study yet for the many artists who determined to stick it out the rewards could be great and the dream of doing great things beckoned on seeing the master's works in the louvre was enough to keep the challenges of life worth it for the artists that came from better financial circumstances the journey simply meant to get to it but for artists with very different and difficult means it was another matter altogether then there was the selection of models the role for a model could be as harsh as that for a new pupil they were generally marched before a group in order to decide on the merits of their figure and often rejected for some perceived attribute as not acceptable then there was the hazing of the new students that entered the class sometimes forcing them to remove their clothing and sing a song while balancing on one foot it was not uncommon for it to get rough at times perhaps not affording them to get to the better spot around the model a class monitor was chosen and put in place while the master was absent who would make twice weekly appearances and dictated the operations that included collecting fees of all sorts including for models the teachers fee miscellaneous common expenses like soap for brushes and studio cleanup and above all maintain the weekly schedule and repair any accidents like broken windows the student in class was more often drawing rather than painting it was only when he was approved by the instructor to move ahead toward painting that it was okay to start that phase as the practice was one had to begin with the eye half closed to establish the general proportions of the model then with the use of a stump to establish half tones often using erasures as needed till all was thoroughly worked out to finish these repeated exercises were a beginning and it was recommended in many cases to copy from the masters in one case it was told of the american artist edward simmons to copy jerome's drawings that were reproduced and displayed on the class walls till he was able to fully grasp what real drawing was all about as a further encouragement to the artists there was a weekly or monthly gift of money to the best work for that period these built-in helps were important enough to inspire one to strive for the challenge within the studio but it also prepared one for the more challenging days ahead in his professional career now moving on to the pre de rome itself the prize to study in rome with the stipend for room and board that was allotted was the thrill to any winning artist for some four years it would be the next very important phase of one's career the greatest of masters of the italian renaissance could be seen daily copied and inspiring enough to reach far above one's skills to show the hometown crowd what could be done and it was mandatory to submit regular progress of the recipient's efforts to the ecole so by the end of the period of study an artist was hopefully well equipped to enter the salon with all the glory that could be and waiting the choices by the various committees in choosing the best artist to award the prize were daunting not just for the many that seemed qualified but the reputation of the school was on the line as well determining if the individual had established character and the final competition submitted proved worthy all considerations were important not just for the school alone but for the glory of france as it perceived itself as the mother of the arts as can be imagined the period of study in the italian city was one of defining some direction and course of action that defines an artist is it to be a painter of history 
or everyday genre settings and the common folk or one of symbolism and mysteries or as james whistler chose to liken himself as an artist for art's sake with the many currents of change and the tastes of the public the need to address creative needs and hope of approval remained a constant pressure perceptions are all important as well artists needed to make an impact as early as possible right out of the gate for the history painter it was the epoch picture usually of a larger scale for others it was useful to develop a portrait trade in order to finance the other very personal works as with john singer Sargent and his el jaleo painting of the spanish dancer then opting for his summers to paint pictures of more private interests away from his portrait clientele and their demands turning now to the all-important last step in our journey for the artist that of acceptance in the grand salon and the hope of a proper debut it is incumbent upon the artist to get off on the right footing and most importantly to use all of one's skills to get the work in front of the public get recognized and meet and greet the salon rules afforded a private viewing between artists and guests before officially opening its doors called the vernissage nerves are at high pitch and of major importance was the placement of works because the paintings were hung from floor to ceiling and stacked accordingly in many cases artists chose to paint rather large paintings as a way to avoid their work getting overlooked and lost to the viewer as the writer jules janin expressed it of the salon the exhibition of painting is the event of the year people are talking about it two months beforehand two months of feverish excitement you never heard of such a to-do what are we going to see this year the pictures are still hiding in the studio what are they like they also noted that to be accepted for the salon marked a turning point in an artist's life the various prizes and medals awarded by the jury were essential steps in their career for those who wanted to succeed the contacts made at the salon with art lovers and potential patrons made sales and commissions much easier to secure particularly because the general public looked upon the salon as the true arbiter of taste and good art it should be noted that there were many many ups and downs concerning every part of the salon and its history while it was a showcase and the singular opportunity to get before the public and patrons it was transformed by juries hanging committees not enough space for the growing entries and in all of this how to be fair and impartial to be able to make it all work smoothly it did but not for some for gustave courbet and later for manet the rejections were just too much their novel way of working one counted himself a realist while the other a kind of impressionist who did not make the selection found themselves willing to show at their own expense at their own venues some came of the public but largely it was not successful till the times had seasoned a bit and they gained more acceptance the french experiment was unique and filled with intrigue but many successes were made for the artists the salon attracted worldwide fame and the anticipation was often worth the challenges it took to help their artists in our twenty-first century eyes and looking back over the work and talent of all concerned we marvel at the great skill and talent displayed competition was feverish the rewards and medals elevated careers and the opportunity of all of society to witness history by each successive yearly exhibit was well worth the ride today once again the new atelier programs are testing the skills of a new generation and hopefully more opportunities for an art loving public to witness a new salon there is much more to cover in so vast a history of the french salon and the ecole des beaux-arts system that helped shape an era but for now we hope you enjoyed this very brief look at it all so please remember to subscribe and leave a like to help the channel also thank you to those that have given us a super thanks much appreciated so with that, it's bye for now.